Okay, uh, just a warning. I edited this video in a car, a moving car, and I posted it at my brother's girlfriend's house. So if there's anything that I missed during editing, I'm so sorry. Please don't unsubscribe for that. Um, but yeah. Have you guys ever made a decision? And it, this is the decision you make time and time again. And every time you make it, you end up regretting it. But then when you have the chance to make it again, you decide to make it again. For you guys who are new here or, or just don't really understand what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these things, okay? Um, I, I get them and I'm like, what, why? And then they grow out and I'm like, yes, they're gone. And then I go to get a haircut and they ask for them again. I mean, this is the shortest they've ever been. Um, but yeah, mistakes are real. Yo, flamingos, what is up? It is so good to see you. Happy Saturday. If you're new here, welcome. Um, this is the second half, or this is the second channel to my main channel, Spartans for Christ. Go check it out. But basically what this is, is we're having some fun. We're just a bunch of teenagers seeking after Jesus with everything we have. And over here, we're having some fun if you want to see some of my more serious videos um check out the link in the description and up top but um yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe hit that bell notification and let me know what you guys want to see if you are subscribed to my main channel then hopefully you've already seen my last video if you haven't go check it out it is how clean are your glasses? Um, also known as what's the big deal? And basically it was the whole topic. I'm going to give you guys a synopsis real quick. The whole topic was um, secular things. Should we watch them? Should we not? And I was just saying, I was comparing them to these things. I don't know how many of you guys know, but I actually do need glasses. My eyesight is not as bad as others, but it is also not as good as others. But I compared our spiritual eyes to glasses and how we need to keep our glasses clean and watching secular things can sometimes smudge up our glasses and in the process smudge up our vision um, spiritually. So here we're going to talk about ways that you can enjoy your time, enjoy TV, enjoy music, enjoy all the works. Enjoy people's creativity and the arts while keeping your classes clean. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because growing up in a strict Christian home with no secular music, a lot of people ask me, how do you enjoy TV? How, what do you even watch? Well, I'm here to help you guys enjoy your time. So coming up at the top, number one, I will say this is probably my favorite of all time. It is just amazing. It is VeggieTales. I feel like I don't really have to explain that much, assuming you also grew up in a church. If you did not grow up in a church, I'll explain it really quick. VeggieTales is um, veggies. It's a bunch of veggies, vegetables, telling stories from the Bible, also recreating like... Um, we, they recreated Beauty and the Beast, um, Sleeping Beauty, Robin Hood. They, they recreated a lot of the secular cartoons and actually put a, a Christian twist on it, a Bible message inside of it, which is pretty epic. But it is a great pastime for toddlers, for teenagers, and my, my mom actually still enjoys it. And kind of on the same level um, as VeggieTales, kind of like that it works for everyone, it can entertain everyone, is number two, 321 Penguins. Now, 321 Penguins, I feel like, is lesser known, although not that, not as lesser great. It's not like totally awful compared to VeggieTales. It's not as great as VeggieTales, but 321 Penguins is a show about 
twins and this is Jason and Michelle and they are spending the summer at their grandparents house which honestly this summer is forever because I don't even know how many episodes there are but it it goes on and there are four penguin toys um that come to life it's Zigil, Midgel, Fidgel, and Kevin and they come to life and they zap Jason and Michelle into their world and basically what it is is you know the big ideas from kids life that you know you memorize along with the memory verse it's kind of like that whereas in the entire video you're presented with the big idea in the beginning it's brought up in the middle and then it's explained at the end and it really just wraps it all together it's very very strong biblical videos Number three, and I will say this is, I know, I know, I know, I said VeggieTales was the best, but I'm going to have to say, this one, it comes up top. It is, it, there's a book, no, there's books, series of books, many different series, still in the same, there's audio, and there are movies which is pretty epic. So it covers all genres, all moods you might be in. And this is Adventures in Odyssey. Adventures in Odyssey is amazing. Now I know when you probably hear that, you're thinking of a middle school homeschooled kid who wears those nerdy glasses and has braces, listening with those big headphones. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna defend Adventures in Odyssey for a second. I will admit I'm not getting kidnapped by some man who pretends to be my friend and who has a twin brother who runs a theater. My fiance is not pulling a prank right before our wedding that he's kidnapped and killed. I do not walk into a room, click a red button, and end up in ancient Rome. Those things do not happen in my life. I do not walk, I don't go on a bike ride and end up in the Israelites, okay? But it is so relatable. Again, not in those points. But it's so relatable in the values and the questions that they bring up. If you don't know Adventures in Odyssey, it covers all ages. There's some middle school characters, some high school characters, young adults, and then adult characters. I mean, it ranges all over the place from fighting with your friend to running a business. So. Any issue you might have, Adventures in Odyssey covers, and it gives you a biblical answer to some of the questions you have. Number four. I have a lot of friends who are into comic books and into manga, and, you know, I will admit that those friends kind of got me hooked, okay? Because I didn't like it, and then they showed me some stuff, and I was like, Yes, please. And the, the, the thing that I've noticed with manga, I'm not saying this is all manga, but with manga and comic books, I feel like a lot of it, it's very secular. Like, it's not just like, oh, it just doesn't say Jesus, but other than that, it's like, this is like the okay zone, and it's like in the extreme. It dove off the deep end, and it's still going. Like, it is below sea level by like it has hit the unknown reaches of the ocean but i have great news for you there are manga bible there are bible comic books and not only just bible but with biblical based stories with that don't dive off the deep end but instead stay in that area that very clean area but if you're not into comic books, but you are into the thriller mystery, maybe some murder mystery, I will admit I love um, mysteries, thrillers. I love um, Forensic Files, if anyone knows who that is, what that is. Basically, I love that kind of stuff. And it can be hard to find a Christian equivalence to some of it. You know, some of it's like you read Christian stuff and you're like, oh, that just doesn't hit mark it's not as interesting i have some good news there is an there are authors that actually write good christian thrillers um my two favorites are ted decker and frank peretti 
especially Frank Peretti, he's great at the keeping you on the edge of your seat. So go check them out. They have they they actually have the kids version and the adult version. So you know you can decide how deep you want to go into it. But it's great. Go check it out. Okay, number five is um, the Cooper Kids and the Jonathan Park clan. Okay, so these um, are kind of going along with, you know, 321 Penguins. It was Jason and Michelle, VeggieTales. I feel like everything is in pairs. Like, what happened to trios? But the Cooper Kids are two kids, I don't remember their names, who go on crazy trips. They fall into pits of snakes. They almost drown. They fall out of planes. They um, get stuck in the wilderness with their parents allowing this but ultimately it's great because there is a biblical message behind all of it just like i said before it was it's like that big idea shining through and jonathan park for you science geeks you will love him jonathan park and his best friend basically just they go around and they their their parents are creationists and they basically just lay out evolution and creation and why creation is correct and how you can actually defend your faith so not only is it entertaining but it also teaches you something it teaches you how to defend your faith and why you should defend your faith now number six this is for you people who like teen dramas check out i shine connect also known as i shine academy i actually don't know if they're still making new seasons but their old seasons are still pretty good, especially if you start in the beginning, because um, it really builds up, as every show builds up the characters. It also helps if you are looking for some artists to listen to. I Shine Connect was a show, but it, all the actors were actually singers and um, upcoming teen artists in the Christian genre. Um, the Ruby is the Mission 6. Jamie Grace was there when she was a teenager. So it's all of these, um, who else? Amy? Anyway, all of these different Christian artists who started off, started off at iShine Connect. So it will only entertain you if you like that kind of stuff, but it will also open your eyes to, you know, what else they got out there? What other genres of Christian music there are? Speaking of music, if you like listening to the radio, now check out Renew FM. They're also online at renewfm.com. And basically, I think that they're the best radio station I've ever heard of. They cover so many different like genres. We'll be driving in the car and I will be pleased, my brothers will be pleased, and my mom, and we all like different styles of music. So go check out our new FM if you are into radios. Now number eight, I'm just gonna say, I too lost faith. I too was for a while thinking there are no good Christian shows until I saw the Chosen. Now, if you guys remember the Bible a couple years ago, that was a great show too. You should also go watch that. It's very long, so that will take up your time. The Chosen is actually made by the same couple, and it is amazing. Season 2 is starting now, and it is... I mean, it's great. I love it. Basically, it's all the people that are close were closest to Jesus it's showing what their life behind the scenes might have been like their life behind um the scenes before Jesus and after Jesus and what happened what they were feeling what they were thinking what happened with their families when Jesus showed up and i mean they don't go dull they don't they they go into it they build up these characters like they got Simon later known he's not peter yet he's simon they got simon doing some crazy stuff in that boat like mary magdalene's story like almost made me cry it's amazing go check out 
the chosen and at number nine the top of the list i just want to talk about real quick the shows that i kind of mentioned earlier you know they don't always last for a season or some of them are just movies short films and when you look at these movies they aren't as good quality as like the latest blockbuster because a lot of them you know were created by a church or by a youth group or some of them were actually some of them are actually really good quality but i want to encourage you when you hit one of these when you when you run into one of these videos don't just look at the quality look at the message behind them because ultimately their script is more quality than the blockbuster okay because Let's just admit it, nowadays, so many movies are coming out, half of them are just filler. The plots don't make sense. There's no real message behind it. People just want to make money. And the thing about these shows is, these and these movies are, they might not get as much support as Iron Man or Endgame. But those directors decide that even though they don't get as much support, they're going to stick to their message and that is amazing so i want to encourage you even though it might not look as good it might not be as pleasing to the eye as some of the other stuff check out christian some of these lower end christian movies because they are actually amazing when you put the time into it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um nine things to entertain yourself while keeping your glass is clean. That is the longest title so far. I hope you share this with a friend. Go check out some of the things that I mentioned and comment down below if maybe you have something else. Like maybe you grew up on something that I didn't know about. There, there were a couple things that I remember but I forget the name of and I didn't, Google didn't understand me. Like one of them, I Google thought it was Teletubbies. I'm like, I did not watch Teletubbies when I was little. But there's a Christian version of Teletubbies. Um, if you want to check that out. But yeah, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and leave a thumbs up. Peace out, Flamingo.